Alright everyone, welcome back. We've got our uh, first to use items are nice and sanitized. Uh, in the kitchen world we call this our mise en place. So this is all the stuff that we need to get the job done right off the bat here. So literally mise en place uh, translated means everything in its place. Okay. So here's what we're going to be making today. It's an American wheat. Uh, we're going to use a dry yeast. And I showed you this packet before. Uh, I've used the wet yeast as well. Uh, dry yeast is going to uh, fall to the bottom, so it's going to be more of a lager style instead of an ale. Once again, in your kit, you're going to have your malt. Uh, this is what I showed before. This is going to be your basis for your beer here. Okay. Uh, that's your corn sugar. Uh, going to be used for your bottling process, so we're going to set that aside for now. And we're going to have two pouches of our hops. Okay, hops. Once I take these out, you'll see they're uh, nice little pellets. Uh, if you've ever had rabbits, they kind of look like rabbit food. Okay. Caps again. More caps. You always end up with too many caps. That's just the way it works. Okay. And you're going to get a short instruction thing here, which is always helpful. And this was just bought at our local uh, brew shop, which is Beer at Home here in Colorado. Um, you can find it online as well if you don't have a brew shop near you. So, first off, I like to get this malt. Uh, it's very, very uh, viscous, so it's, it sticks to the sides of the, the bucket. The easy way to get that to come out when you need it is to set it up in another pan with a little bit of water and just put it on a small boil and that will allow the malt to try to, to kind of release itself, uh, become a little more of a liquid state and it will be easier to add to your uh, mixture to create your wort. Just be careful you don't put too much water in this because it might overflow. Yeah, so you put a little too much water in that. Let's just dump it all out. Another important trick that I had learned is to not use wooden spoons. Gonna set that up to about a medium heat and see if we can get that uh, released a little bit. Wooden spoons uh, can still carry bacteria and contaminants, so I sanitize this aluminum spoon here, and that's gonna be our main uh, our main tool when we're creating our wart. And basically, the word wart is uh, W-O-R-T. It it's it's the name for the mixture that you use uh, prior to beer. So basically it's beer before it's fermented, uh, before it's carbonated. Okay, that's your wort. So we're going to take our big bucket here. Let's see. I'm not sure if that's going to work or not. We're going to need a gallon and a half to start off with. We'll try to figure this one out here. We've got a one gallon measure here that's nice and accurate for our bucket. Luckily here in Colorado we have a nice uh, nice Rocky Mountain water. Uh, if you don't have a good water source, uh, I know, you know Arizona, <laughs> I've had the water there, it's not that great. Use a filter. That'll help out with your beer. Uh, it helps immensely with the finished product, considering beer is 80% water. Um, that way you don't have a bad flavor that's due to water. Okay? Let's see what we got here. Gallon. 
Okay, it looks like we're at one gallon. Now the second half, I want to be precise. So for those of you who still remember your math, uh, one gallon is equal to 128 ounces. So we need to add a half a gallon, which is going to be 64 ounces. Bear with me here, because this guy is a little small. And I'm doing this in uh, two cup increments or 16 ounce increments. So we're looking at eight of these total. set this to boil. We'll keep it on high. So as this reaches a boil, we're going to slowly add our malt. Okay? And then our first round of hops will go right at the beginning. We're also going to add, add a round of hops right at the end. Now keep your yeast aside because adding yeast to hot water is not a good idea. They will be dead in seconds. Welcome back. It looks like we hit a rolling boil here with our water. So let's take this off. And we release the malt a little bit, so that's ready to go in. Important thing to remember here when you're adding your malt to your water is to go slow. Alright. Come around this side. Let's see. You can slowly add it. Once this is completed, we're going to return this to a boil. This is where you have to be careful. Because that malt has a lot of sugar. Just so make sure you get all, all of it out of there. Malt has a lot of sugar, so once it starts to boil, it's really hard to stop. And I'll show you a trick for that in just a moment. Hear it already. I'm starting to get back to that high boil. This is where over boils happen all the time. If you search any uh, beer making websites, they'll warn you about the over boil. Basically, this water just starts going crazy. And you'll start to notice it. So, my recommendation is. As boring as it sounds, you need to watch this pot uh, very closely. And you always keep a, about a cup of water or a spray bottle or uh, something handy. So once that bubbling starts to get very, very uh, rapid, just put that water on top and it'll calm it down a little bit, okay? Alright, so we're going to watch this and it's going to boil for approximately 60 minutes, so an hour we're going to boil it. Uh, let's set the timer for 30. Because once we hit that 30 minute mark, we're going to add our first package of hops, okay? So we'll meet you back here in about 30 minutes when it's ready to go again. Okay. Alright, I wanted to come back here because we're starting to get that violent uh, boil. And you can see right now it's getting pretty high. So we're going to add our water just to calm it down before it boils over. 
right. That way we don't have a big mess in the kitchen. Let's turn it down just a tad. And that way we'll let it uh, boil at its own pace. All right.